Hey everyone, welcome to the Guk Vik Kitchen. Today we're cooking up this delicious chicken curry. Keep watching to learn how we make it. These are all the main ingredients we'll be using today. Go ahead and pause the screen now to grab a screenshot if you'd like. Let's get started. First, you're gonna clean and prepare three pounds of boneless chicken thighs, and you're gonna add four tablespoons of Guk Vik Foods curry soup base. This soup base is so flavorful and fragrant You'll never go back to any other recipe after trying ours. We're using chicken thighs today, but feel free to substitute for any protein. Go ahead and mix everything together until it's completely combined. Cover with saran wrap and refrigerate while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. Next, you're going to heat up two tablespoons of oil in a pan on a medium heat. Two sweet potatoes sliced into one inch chunks, three potatoes sliced into one inch chunks, Sear potatoes and sweet potatoes for five minutes on each side. Don't forget to flip them while searing. Don't cook the potatoes all the way through. They should be seared with the crust and tender. Place the potatoes on the side. Leave the skillet on and go ahead and throw the chicken right on there for five minutes on each side. You wanna get a really nice sear and crust on the chicken to lock in the flavors. After the chicken is done searing, place the chicken to the side. We'll come back to it later. Prepare bruised lemongrass cut into three inch pieces, half a clove of minced garlic, five sliced shallots. Then in a brand new pot, saute the shallots, garlic, and lemongrass together for five minutes. This will create a very aromatic base for our curry. Then you're gonna need five tablespoons of Guk Vik Foods curry soup base again. Adding two ounces of water, you're gonna make a sauce. Mix it all together very well, and then add it to your pot with fragrant lemongrass, shallots, and garlic. Cook with the heat on low so you can bring out the flavors and colors of the spices without burning the sauce. After combining everything in the pot together by mixing it well, you're gonna add one half gallon of hot water. Remember those potatoes earlier? We're gonna need them again. Add it to the pot and let it cook all together for 15 minutes. Bring to a boil. After 15 minutes, you can go ahead and add your seared chicken that we also left to the side earlier. It's all coming together now. One of the final touches is to add 10 ounces of coconut cream to make it deliciously creamy. Bring everything to a boil to prevent the coconut milk from going bad. Then, adjust to taste before shutting off the heat. After it comes to a boil, shut off the heat and then add your raw onion slices. Give it one last gentle stir and it's time to serve up. This Vietnamese-style chicken curry is a must-have. Now, you can make it in the comfort of your own home within an hour or less. It's so easy, it's so delicious, and it's super nutritious. Give it a try and let us know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and comment what else you'd like to see on our channel.